Hey there guys, it's Mr. Q, your friendly neighborhood guitar here, also known as Mokujin21, and today we've got the Pixel 3a XL, and its case over here too. Moving forward, I'm going to be calling this the Axle. <coughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at what's inside the box this beautiful day. By removing the top cover, we see the phone in front of us. This is actually their purplish color, not to be confused with white. So let's go ahead and put this to the side and let's see what's inside the box. We've got a bit of plastic over here. Throw that to the side. You can have that, Mr. Grassman. We've also got a quick start guide and, of course, some stickers so that everybody knows that you are part of the G Team Team Pixel. We've also got the uh, SIM ejector tool. Put that to the side. We've got a USB C to USB C wire. Very nice to have. We've got a standard USB to USB C adapter so you can transfer all of your information from your old phone to your new phone. Then we've also got a quick charger. Really good to have. Actually feels kind of nice. And of course, it's USB C. So let's put that to the side and let's focus on the phone for just a minute. We're actually going to be comparing this device to the 3XL. Let's get started. All right, all right. I know a lot of you are bothered by this mess. Let's clean this up. Done. So to my right, I've got the purplish axle and to the left, I've got the white. Which color do you prefer? Personally, I think that the whiter one, more of an eggshell, looks real pretty. But of course, for those that want that hint of lavender, you've got purplish. Let's go ahead and talk about the key differences between the two, because there are a lot of differences. First of all, let's go ahead and talk about the materials, because we've got a back made of glass, and here we've got a back made of plastic. Despite being made of plastic, there is something that you're going to be missing. Yes, we don't have wireless reverse charging, sadly. Why they got rid of that? Tell you why. Cost savings. You know how much cost savings? Let's say $200 worth. Yes, if you compare pricing between the two, you actually save 200 bucks with the three axle. Now, we might be saving $200, but you might have noticed in the box, there are a couple of things missing. One, we don't have the earbuds. And two, we don't have the USB-C to 3.5 millimeter adapter. Gotta save those bucks. So let's go ahead and take a look at the front of the phone. You'll see that there are some changes here too. First of all, we don't have the notch with the three axle. And also, we don't have that front facing bottom speaker. We still do have it, still have stereo speakers, but this time it's at the bottom instead of the front. That's a shame, especially since we still have this chin down here. In my opinion, there was no reason to remove it. Looking at the top, we only have one front facing camera instead of the two. So we don't have that wide, wide shot and uh, still does a pretty good job though. Shout out to Google for creating this really cool, not emoji, but Gmoji. Thanks guys. So let's go ahead and talk about the rest of the specs. We've got a Snapdragon 670. We've got four gigs of RAM, up to 128 gigs of memory, Bluetooth 5.0. We still don't have expandable storage. We've got a 6.04 inch screen, 1080 by 2160. That gives us a pixel per inch of 400. The size of the battery, 3,700 milliamp hours. I love it. Now to some people, they might say, hey, I'm saving $200, this is a newer phone, but it is weaker. You've got a Snapdragon 670, and yes, to be honest, the processing is slower, and when you open up apps, you will notice a difference between this and the 3XL. However, headphone jack. For those of you that want it, you got it. Does, does, does that make up for everything? Maybe. Now, you're still gonna have a lot of the key features, almost every single feature, such as squeeze that you can call up Mr. Google Assistant. You've got night shot mode. You've got all of those convenient uh, tools of digital well-being, such as flipping to shush so that you can flip to put the phone on silent, basically. Um, you've still also got the colorful button on the side. This time they've gone with a neon yellow when you choose the purplish. They've moved the SIM card tray. So in the previous version, it was on the bottom. Or not. I say previous version just because, you know, this did come out later, but again, they're, they're different phones. Um, and then it is now on the left-hand side. So, do I go ahead and recommend this device? Should you buy it? Well, let me put the phone down for a second. 
Let's have a conversation, a hand conversation. This is actually a pretty good price point. I do wish that it had a better processor. I wish that they didn't go down to a 670. And I do wish that it had wireless charging since it still has a plastic back. They could have put it in there, but I understand cost saving measures, right? I do think that this should still be a little bit cheaper. The three starts at 399. If they were 300, 350, this would be selling like crazy. I do think they are taking a step in the right direction by giving us a cheaper alternative. And of course, for those people who just want to be part of the Google experience, especially if they want to use Google Fi, this is a really good phone to, 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 to start off with. You know what I mean? If you want to start off with the Google experience, get into their ecosystem. And plus, the fact that you have unlimited storage for uh, high-res photos, that's pretty cool too. I'm still looking forward to the Google Ultra, if a Google Ultra comes out. So, in general, good job Google, I like it, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to like this phone too. And of course, if you're going to buy one of these phones, you're probably going to want to go ahead and grab a case. I love these cases. Nice. Well guys, if you like this unboxing and this very quick comparison between the two devices, please don't forget to give me a like because thumbs are free, but they mean a lot to me. Thank you so much guys. Take care.